Hello, welcome, welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Bumia Sala and the name of our channel is Bumsis Lifestyle. I welcome everybody. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining the community. And I welcome all our new subscribers that subscribe. I really appreciate you. Please, if you've not subscribed, subscribe. The notification is free. What are you waiting for? It is free. What do you what do we talk about? We talk about travel, lifestyle, and Canada Canada guide. So if this is what you want, stay tuned and watch till the end. Don't forget to subscribe. Today I'll be giving you the continuation of all our previous videos i'm going to put it up here so you can watch it please watch it after this video and you need to watch this to the end because there are some information i'll be giving you today so you need to watch it to the end and please if this is what you like comment in the comment section and please like my comments i mean like my video so that i can know if you really love what i'm doing or i need to adjust on what i'm giving you please give it a thumbs up and also comment below in the in the yeah in the comment box thank you so right now let's move to the video so before we start the main gist, i posted in my previous video there were some approved airline and non-approved airline way to work in Nigeria but guess what all of a sudden Emirates was approved but all of a sudden it was I think it was September September 20 no September 19 or so they had a meeting the Minister of Aviation they had a meeting because they were deliberating on other unapproved flights and guess what Emirates is one of the Unapproved, so Emirate has been banned. As we continue this conversation, I will give you more hint on the reason and what is it. So, that as we all know, we have new updates, new COVID test updates. We have new COVID test updates. That if you are in diaspora and you want to travel to Nigeria. You need to follow these rules and you need to be at alert so that you won't be surprised when you get to Nigeria. They've updated the new rules. Number one rule is in my previous video, you need to watch my previous video to understand what I'm saying in this video. So in my previous video, I spoke about the COVID PCR how the test you would do how you would they said you have to do it like four days to four days before you arrive in nigeria normally it used to be like maybe a week before or two weeks before but right now in my previous video they said four days but right now that's 96 hours but now because of the difference in um, the time difference between nigeria and other country they adjusted it. So now, if you want to do your COVID test in where you in where you are before you travel to Nigeria, you have to. They've added one day to it, so it's now one twenty hours. So how do we calculate this? Like for example, if you were to travel maybe October twenty, maybe you have to travel October twenty. You travel October 20, you have to do your COVID test like five days before the October 20. Or better still, to avoid embarrassment, try to do it ASAP. But it must not pass 120 hours. If it's, if you do it before then, then you would, you would, you, they, would, they, would they would not allow you to board. So you, you have to do it. 120 it has to be 120 hours this is because of the 
kind of friends and also in some other countries there are a bit delay a bit delay in the results like if you go to the to the test there might be little delay so that's why they added one more days because they were not allowing because a lot of people were missing their flights and they were not allowing people to board so please take note of that then the second information i have for you is the online portal where you register for your covid for your covid test information about yourself before you arrive in nigeria right so it's called nitp that's nigerian international travel portal you know a lot of us know that i don't know maybe you know but it's not been working you know our nigeria now it has not been working so the minister of aviation has said that it's working now so i hope it's like that so right now you can fill you can fill your health questionnaire pay for your covid test and you because anyone that doesn't follow this instruction you will not be allowed to board right and another thing is another news again is that they said you can pay on arrival but just be on alert anything can happen you know you know the way nigeria is if there's any new updates don't worry i will always give you the loaded gist so that is why you need to stick to this to this channel and subscribe and press the notification button so that you would if if you really need this information because of your loved ones that want to come to nigeria you need to follow this news okay so now the gist about Emirates, you know, we know that Dubai, UAE is one of the, one of the, um, is, is, is good for tourism and a lot of people, they go there to buy, buying and selling and Nigerians, they are one of the top customers that they have in UAE. But you know what? Because of the COVID-19, because of the ban, two airlines, two important airlines, that travel from Lagos to Dubai, Dubai to Lagos as a van, and that is Emirates and Etihad. I believe you know two, the two airlines. And because of the COVID-19, a lot has been happening in Dubai. My Dubai people, if you're watching, I, I want to say that you should just keep it safe and everything will be fine. A lot of people lost their job. A lot of salaries with was divided you know and salaries has not been paid a lot of complaints have been shut down because of this COVID-19 and due to the ban I the little gist I heard was because because Dubai banned Nigerians yeah another news I want to give you is that do you know that Dubai the UAE government they ban Nigerians for coming into Dubai I don't know their reason, but they said they want to stop Nigerians from coming to Dubai. And you know what that means? If Nigerians stop coming to Dubai, do you know what that means? That is no market now. Eh? Please comment in the if you are in Dubai, you can give us more gist about the what is happening in UAE. Because Dubai is Dubai is part of UAE. We have Ajman, we have Chaja, we have Rakasama, we have Alin, you know? So if you are in the UAE, under the umbrella of UAE, please comment below. Let's know what's happening to you. Okay? Let's know what's happening to you. So you need to watch this video. I'm going to put it up here and see what is happening in UAE. You need to watch this video. So, my people... Dubai is staring at an economic collapse. One of the world's most popular tourist destinations is feeling the fault lines like never before. No tourists, no oil money. The pandemic has left Dubai scrambling for money. If nothing is done, most of Dubai's businesses will shut down over the next six months. Let's report. Dubai, a city of skyscrapers and artificial archipelagos. A global hub for free movement of trade, people and money a symposium of luxury shopping and a lively nightlife. 
Well, all that's in the past. The pandemic has shaken the most resilient shakedown in the United Arab Emirates. An astounding 70% of the businesses in Dubai are expected to shut shop in the next six months. Dubai is one of the least oil-reliant economies in the Gulf. But that's no insulation from the ravages of the lockdown. Dubai's fuel is hospitality, tourism, entertainment, property and retail. One of the busiest international airports in the world with two popular airlines, Emirates and Etihad. All operations grounded. The world's most dominating skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall, the Palm Jumeirah, the Mall of the Emirates, even the Dubai Gold Souk. All in the pits of despair with business shut down during the lockdown. Half of Dubai's internationally known hotels and restaurants will go out of business in the next month alone. 74% of the travel and tourism businesses will down their shutters. These are findings by the Dubai Chamber of Commerce. Businesses in the UAE are slashing salaries, sending employees on unpaid leave and reducing staff. Dubai did allow some of its mall and businesses to reopen at around 30% capacity. But there were hardly any customers. The UAE is heavily reliant on its 80% expatriate population to eat out and shop. Most of these rich expatriates, including Indians, have left for their home country. Dubai has also announced an economic package, over $400 million. But the oil money is drying up. The pandemic cannot be blamed entirely for the collapse. Dubai's hot cake for the recent decades, real estate is metaphorically crumbling to the ground. Residential property prices are down 30% from the 2014 peak. On the commercial side, mostly hotels and restaurants, Revenue per room is down 25% since 2015. Last year, Dubai's economic growth was slightly over 1%. The worst since the global financial crisis in 2008. Dubai and its vast web of state-linked industries are facing billions of dollars in looming debt repayments. For the foreseeable future, no oil money, no tourism, no foreign funds, no big real estate deals. A city that seemed glorious under its blinding night lights is today struggling to stay alive. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. If you find this video useful, please share to your loved ones. And please subscribe and join our community, join the family. Don't forget to like. And if you are new also, please subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.